Ladies and gentlemen, now in today's video, we're going to be trying out the SSR Titan Transformation Eren in a little bit of global PvP. I thought today we'd try running this guy kind of in the mono red gold rush team uh, alongside Arthur, Gotha, and also Red King on the sub as well. Um, so yeah, I'm curious to see how today's uh, video does turn out. Because uh, I haven't heard great things so far about pe playing this character on Global. I think he sort of worked against some matchups on JP. Because Goddess Liz is a really, really good character for just stalling out fights and keeping certain characters as alive. And in order to get the most out of this Titan transformation, Eren, you need to get into Titan form and then just go absolute beast mode on your opponent. But he's also a very whaley character because his Titan form related stats are all... Um, uh, what is it tied in with his alt level as well? However, here it looks like we got a player on the line, man. They've got a terrible connection though. We're waiting for like 10 seconds there. Uh, 10 seconds, more like I think it's about more like 20 seconds there, man. Right, let's have a look. Okay, that is uh, that is not a bad opening hand. Do we just want to like send it? We can full send on Titan Aaron here, man. Right, let's let's go for it. I think so let's go into the Blue D Meliodas or Escanor or Lilia. Mm, I like going into the Escanor. I think that's probably the uh, the best option there. So if we upgrade the gold card, then when he uses the gold card, he gets two additional alt gauge here. So this is uh, probably one of, one of the best openings we can have. I think we've got like a 50% chance to get a really, really good opening with this team. But now we can go straight into Titan form. Oh, we've also got the ability to rush gold as well. He might go for a drain on uh, Lilia. There's only a, what is it, 1 6 chance that he does have access to that play, though. So, you know, it's it's not so high. Um, but let's see what he's going to go for. Okay, so nuke into Eren there. And a Pierce card, maybe? Okay, I, I thought, thought we might see that. So, next turn, I think we're going to line everything up. Uh, just for a gold buff after. So let's transform into Titan mode. We don't want to be uh, holding that too long. And let's uh, merge this over. I'm just going to upgrade uh, Arthur as well. So when he transforms into Titan form, uh, he also puts a minus 30% attack related stats debuff on all the opponents. So yeah, we're not going to take as much damage next turn. Plus, he's also got a 35% increase to all of his uh, stats as well. Okay, that's looking uh, really, really promising for the next turn. Hmm. I think we can just get, like, Lilia and Blue Team Melly down here. Okay, so we got Corrosion. That's not too much of a problem. Second Pierce card. Right, if we go for a gold buff, because now he has the, the same cards as um, Red Escanor. <laughs> I, I think we are massive laughing with this play. I think we go for the Silver on Blue Demon Melee. Should get him down. And then we go for just the um, the Bronze on Escanor. So yeah, we got so many buffs here, man. Like, what is it? Seven buffs? Amplifying the Amplify damage? So yeah, 93k there. Just instant one shot on the melee. And uh, we clapped the Escanor as well with a nice little 57k. So that was uh, that was some pretty good RNG, that batch, man. That worked out uh, very, very well in our favor. <laughs> uh, but that is, that's like the dream start with Titan Eren. But also, because of the, uh, the crazy amount of... Um, uh, what is it, lifesteal? He now has for five turns in Titan form. Just like a, a full top up as well. And there is... I don't think he's got like any cards to win this game. Even with the best RNG in the world, he's just not going to be able to kill Titan Eren. There's just too much damage. There's way too much lifesteal as well. So yeah, we'll all see what happens. But we want to go for a play here that maximizes draw. Hopefully we get a top deck on Arthur. Or another Titan Eren card works very, very well. Uh, so I think we'll go for, let's go for this first, and then we'll go for the Amplify Smash, and then we'll go for a, um, uh, a gold card on Arthur. So yeah, there's just <laughs> so much damage, man. Oh my gosh, I love Titan form. But one of the things that makes Titan Eren, you know, sometimes uh, a little bit, uh, what's the word, 
un unpredictable or unreliable is you need to get to that Titan form. And if you're facing like a, a mono red matchup, like Gotha can just upgrade Escanor first turn. You know, even if you get super lucky, you can rush a uh, uh, and you rush ultimate. Like Escanor can just instantly drain there. So a lot of drains really are the uh, the enemy of uh, Titan Aaron. But you can also use uh, you know in slightly longer matchups. I uh, think that we're probably going to see today uh, is Gotha's attack disable at the right interval can prevent uh, Aaron from being uh, drained. So yeah, with a little bit of clever play, you can make this guy work. But I don't think, again, he's not going to be a character that I think is going to be uh, uh, commonly used in the meta. Because, again, you do need to ideally have him 6-6 six, six if you do want to see the most out of this character. Uh, but let's have a, a little bit of a look. Fingers crossed is a, uh, a Pierce team, man. I think that would be the ideal team to fight against. And it's going to be a Mono Red Escanor Alt Rush. Escanor Alt Rush, just a Mono Red team. There's no Alt Rush in this one. Let's see what play he does have first turn. He hasn't got super lucky with the uh, the Escanor merger here. Oh no, is he going to go straight into gold? Okay, that's that's also bad news, man. That's also very bad news. Oh no. Oh, okay. So he's holding on to that. Fair enough. So I think here we can't instantly rush Eren's ult. So I think we upgrade Arthur, and then I'm going to merge on Gotha. Mm, I might as well fire this off now, because he's going to do a uh, a gold next turn anyway. Kind of forces him into the gold play, and makes Gotha the priority as well. Okay, dude, if Gotha can survive here, we are, we're big time laughing, man. We're big time laughing. Oh, dude, this man's going ham for Eren here. Um, right. So, I think we want to use the upgrade before we ult. So, let's upgrade Arthur. Go straight into gold here. And then just uh, fire off the uh, the ult. Eren is, uh, Eren's big time bait in this matchup, though. Hmm. I think he's hoping maybe for another upgrade card. I don't think he actually has a gold buff. Okay, now he has a gold buff. Okay. Going back into uh, Aaron there. Fair play, man. Fair play. Hmm. Aaron 100 million percent gets clapped, right? I think we still, like, go for his damage, though. If we go for, like, two of these, um... If we go for this... I kind of like this play. Just because it also gets a ult. Just make sure that Gotha dies. Gotha... <laughs> yeah, it's going to die off that one. I think it would have been maybe a bit too risky... Oh, actually, you might have been able to cleave him down there, in all fairness. But it also got him topped up a little bit as well. But he just needs, like, one good uh, Escanor card to uh, finish uh, the boy there. He's got gold buff. I'm, I'm not hopeful that Eren survives this one, man. Yeah, that man's that man's meeting the Shadow Realm very, very soon. Oh, please say there's just a round. Uh, it's 100% going to be more damage. Oh, uh, that is unfortunate, boys. We, we still got Ghost, though. We still got Arthur, you know. They put in a fair amount of work. So I think we just want to rush um, Ghost as all here. If he does have a, a drain on Escanor, this is this is where stuff does get um, a little bit hairy. There's already a chance that he probably has drawn another... Mm, I don't know, actually. We'll see. We just got rid of two king cards there. So maybe he doesn't have a drain on Escanor. Gonna remain optimistic for now. Um, yeah, I don't think he had a drain. He's got a nuke though. M might be all right here. We might be all right. Okay, so let's go for uh, gold buff. Let's go for Gothazol. And let's um, 
smack him with Arthur there just to make sure. Pardon me. But if not, I hope it goes to uh, either King or Escanor. I guess it doesn't matter too much, really. Okay, right. Very, very cool. Okay, if it goes to King, man, King is dead. And then, uh, GG. So, um, Eren was, Eren was total bait in that fight, man. He was total bait. Uh, but <laughs> just really goes to show how, like, good uh, Arthur and Gothra are. But let's crack on and go for, um, uh, matchup number three. But that was, uh, that was a nice little recovery, mate. Certainly not too bad. But, uh, Eren, uh, yeah, he, he didn't really, uh, do too much in that fight. Again, if you can't get to the, the Titan form, you're really not seeing a lot of the stuff that makes this character very special. And again, against uh, mono red matchups, man, it's just it's going to be difficult. And there's uh, a lot of them knocking about at the moment. It's a very uh, mono red meta. Is it going to be the the same person again? Oh my goodness! Right. Let's greet this man with a polite bow here. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. So you got double upgrade straight into gold. Oh, that's nasty. Do we just hope that he's got really, really unlucky on all of the, uh... Actually, wait, wait, wait. If we buff up Eren here... Just to make him more tanky and then go for this. And then... Oh, actually, I think we can upgrade Arthur. And then buff up everybody... And then just go for this Aaron card, and that should be enough. Hmm. Let's give it a go. Like, he needs to draw... There's a, there's a fair chance he's either drawn another upgrade or another drain. Um. Oh, no. Okay, he's going for triple nuke. Okay, he's going for the Arthur man. He, th that man is going crazy for Arthur. Interesting. I really wouldn't have expected that in all fairness. Uh, I guess it makes some sense. But here, do we just want to get that Gotha down? I think if we go for both of these cards, man, Gotha's probably dead. And then that does limit uh, a lot of the cheeky upgrade play. Very nice. Yeah, dude, maybe that second that second card was a bit too much overkill. I was thinking of attacking into red characters. You got the disadvantage. It's not going to be uh, as spicy, but delivers, delivers nicely. Okay. Interesting. We've got a magical upgrade play. I kind of, there's a part of me is a little bit hoping Arthur, Arthur is pretty much dead here anyway. So if we draw like a couple more Titan Aaron cards, that'd be perfect. Or actually, yeah, we only draw one card. Hopefully it's either an upgrade merger or another Titan Aaron card would be perfect. If it's another Amplify card, we can wreck. But here, I think the play that we do want to go for is we want to go for the upgrade. Let's get the massive drain and let's uh, beat into Arthur. Is there a chance we get Arthur down? I actually think if we nuke into Arthur, we don't get him down. But if we nuke into King, he probably dies. And then that limits his turns to two. I don't know, though. We don't have the, the base uh, Arthur buffs. But I still think it's the best one to swing for. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay, we got double crit off that. <laughs> Perfect. Um, Very good. Very, dude, crazy. Crazy draw, man. That works out perfectly. I think we upgrade Titan Eren and just go twice into the Escanor. And then I, I think that's that's going to turn out quite well. Let's go for it, mate. Let's go for it. Right, perfect. But mad love to uh, Aspros, man. Definitely some really, really good matches today. Perfect. Let's go. Red Escanor straight in the bin, son. We'd love to see it, man. We'd love to see it. And then we just got uh, Titan Aaron's ult next turn. So let's just uh, fire that off. Uh, and yeah, that's a massive GG there.
Those are those are definitely some cool matches, though, man. I'm surprised we managed to win uh, twice in a row, going uh, second in all fairness. But yeah, certainly, uh, certainly not too bad. Another massive win for our boy um, Titan Aaron there. Again, he didn't do uh, he didn't do like anything really apart from tank damage in the uh, the previous one. But that matchup, bro, he just he cleaned up very very nicely. I think when you've got you know, it, it's kind of the current state of PvP. You need three characters that absolutely bang in a massive threat. So if you've got some like Arthur, Gotha, Blue Team, Meliodas, Lilia uh, down, really the only character that 100% doesn't get targeted toward the start of a match is the, uh, what is it, the green, uh, sorry, the red version of Escanor. Here, what do we want to go for here, man? Hmm. I kind of like this play, just to maximize draw, and then I think I'm going to chuck this off as well, and then I think just recovery disable the uh, Lilia. I do like that play for draw, it's not too bad. Okay, that's really good, perfect. Okay, that's beyond really good, that's crazy. Are we going to get Corrosion here? I, th I think he might be banking on Corrosion. Oh no, he's just going to go for a Pierce card. Fair play, makes sense. Um, right, so what are we going to go for here? Let's lock down the recovery for two turns. Let's go for the gold buff. Oh dude, that just plays down the middle like way too, far too good. <laughs> Fighting uh, Peanut Man here. This is a pretty sensible play for the first turn, so he did emote, but I think there's still a good chance it could be a player. Okay, we've locked out, like, a lot of his plays. He's got d Melly Corrosion cards he can use, and Lilia heals as the options. Oh no, he doesn't have Lilia heals because we've got those disabled. However, we still have the recovery disable on Lilia, so what we can do here um, is we can actually lock out Melly's ult. So if we go for the upgrade there, and then I think, I know this may seem like a bit of a silly play, but I think we just go for, actually do we want to sneak somebody down, maybe go for Barn here. Actually, I do, I do like this play for the follow up, oh no. Yeah, okay, I messed up the play a bit there, it's, it's still a play to go for man, not, not a bad one, not a bad one, we'll take it. Hmm. Oh my god. That's crazy, bro. I am literally the CEO of Netmarble with this luck. <sighs> okay, well, I, th I think we can just kill... Um... Can we kill Blue Team, Melly, and Lilia? <laughs> Do we want to try? <laughs> uh, uh, I, I think we can kill both, man. Because also in human form, uh, Eren's Unique increases its damage by 10% per alt gauge. So we've got 40% damage increase here. Um, so yeah, I, th I think we just send it. Should be good. Maybe I should have gone for the Blue D melee first. He's slightly lower. But Lily has lower base health. So yeah, 71k crit there. And uh, over on that Meliodas, we are going to be tapping into... Dun, 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 dun. Uh, 73k non-crit. Not too bad, mate. Not too bad. I'll uh, I'll certainly uh, certainly take that one. But I think Gotha's, um sorry, Arthur's recovery disable, along with uh, Eren's ult disable, uh, can just work out really really well at the right point. But here, <laughs> might might be able to get him down. I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll send it, man. We'll send it. We'll give it a go. Because we get, we do have the gold buff here. It's only a bronze card, um, but we'll have what is it? Seven buffs on us, and there we go. We just one shot king. So that uh, <laughs> that works out for the finish, man. That was uh, that was a good match. That was a really really fun match. Wow. All right. So we just skipped ahead three matches. I had one bot match up. Then I got wrecked by a super lucky red Escanor team, and then we had another bot match up. So just to fill you guys in, but the Escanor match up, it was just uh, it was just heartbreaking, man. Heartbreaking. Escanor with the right RNG. Is still he's still still too strong. He's still the rightful character to put in the uh, the mono red team that we're running today. 
Okay, what do we have here? Is that going to be a green or a red Escanor? Oh, if it's red, he's going first, man. We're in a bit of trouble here. This team has a lot of burst. It's also got a lot of drain as well. Hmm. Actually... We we might have a play to survive. Thinking about this, we, we might be able to do this, man. I think we've got exactly the hand we need to maybe win this matchup. But with the CC, this is definitely a player, 100%. He's throwing all the damage he can. Probably going to nuke into Titan Eren. Okay, we got a Prey now. He's got um less than two Blue Dean Melee Pierce cards. Oh my goodness, what did he draw into there? Well, this is this is about to get a little bit heated up, but let's go for a um, nuke into Lilia here. And then we're going to upgrade Gotha. And then we're going to go for the attack disable. So this rushes Titan Aaron Zolt. If next turn, what do we need next turn? Okay, he's got a silver card he can use. Um, oh god, I hope that's not a Lilia heal here. Oh, he's got a Lilia one. Okay, we, we might still be alright here. I think he had to move around for that. Oh, it's a drain. That's that's a bad time. But now it's unlikely that he has a second Silver Lilia card. So that's, um, in a way, good news. So yeah, I think what we go for here is let's merge on Arthur. Let's buff up. And let's uh, lock out the uh, the alt here. I think we might get clapped to the Shadow Realm. But we'll see what happens, man. Oh, gosh. There's just so many plays. So many plays that he can have. That would be bad news for me. Really bad news. This, in my opinion, I'm fine at the moment. Top PvP team, man. This is the one when I just want to just win and troll over everybody. This is the team I run. 100%. Oh, Eren, survive. Yes. Yes, Eren, you friggin' beast, mate. Let's go. Oh, dude, can we can we get that Eskinor down? How much health does he have? I think... We're going to send it, bro. Escanor, he's got the buff. We've got our three alpha buffs. And a dream here. Come on, let's just bang, bang this man out in one hit. Oh, no! Oh, my God! You're laughing, mate! The what? Oh, dude, that was so close, man. That was so close. Mate. Oh, dude. Dude, dude, oh man. He's gonna go for Arthur. Okay, unexpected, really unexpected. I think maybe because he couldn't guarantee the one shot. Oh my goodness, okay. Very interesting, very, very interesting. Right, I think considering the circumstance now that Eskinol's become a bit less of a threat, so I think we buff up, uh, upgrade the boy here. Let's just go for a massive drain. Actually, maybe we go for this on Demon Melly. And then this on Escanor. I think that gets both of them down. Come on, let's go. Titan comeback here. There we go. Okay, Demon Melly's in the bin. That Escanor also joining him there. And then, uh, opponent's forfeit match. So, uh, that, that was great, man. That was really, really good. Wow. I thought... <laughs> I thought we were going to get punished there. Uh, but that actually worked out really, really well. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy today's Titan Eren Global PvP Showcase, please do smash that like button. As a reminder, this character, at least in my opinion, is not quite top meta. Uh, he's very fun when he works out well. And again, he's a very wily character. In order to make this character uh, like a lot more spicy and very exciting in Titan form, you need to have, at least in my opinion, at least 4-6 on the alt level. Um... 
But if you do want to like super try hard with this guy, 6-6. Six, six. But yeah, it's, it's up to you, man. But aside from that, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you'd enjoy today's showcase. And if you did, uh, smash that like button. Take care. And I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.